Today's video is about Windows Terminal vs PowerShell. So this video will tell you about what is the difference between Windows Terminal and Windows PowerShell. They look similar but under the hood Windows Terminal and PowerShell act very differently. If you are using Windows 10 or 11, you will find PowerShell and Windows Terminal pre-installed in your system. At the core, they are essentially command line tools for inputting instructions that allow you to perform a variety of tasks on your Windows PC. These tasks including troubleshooting problems, automating tasks, managing systems, running diagnostics and network administrations. So if you have ever asked yourself which one to use between PowerShell and Windows Terminal, knowing what makes them different can help you pick the best app for your situation. So here is what you need to know all about them. So let's discuss about the PowerShell first. PowerShell is an improvement over command prompt. In simple words, PowerShell is an advanced form of command prompt. As you all know that the command prompt you can access it from using the CMD, CMD and from here you will get the command prompt. This is the command prompt window and for accessing the PowerShell, you can just go to the startup and type PowerShell. You will get it here. You can either run it as an administrator or you can run IOC as administrator. So just click on that. You will get this window. This is PowerShell and this is a customized form of PowerShell. If you haven't seen the customization of PowerShell, I have done an earlier video on that. I'll share the link in the i button. You can check it from there. Microsoft introduced PowerShell in 2006 and it does everything that command prompt that is CMD does and then some extras. The most popular language of PowerShell is C hash and it allows you to unlock the tools, advanced features and boost your productivity. On top of standard commands, PowerShell have over 200 CMD LEDs and and special type of C hash class that Microsoft defines as light commands. When they are executed by PowerShell, they return a .NET object that you can manipulate. This for example allows you to not only really interact with programs on your computer that are powered by .NET Core but process their input as well without you having to write any special or complicated codes. Furthermore, while PowerShell can run batch files like CMD, it also allows for greater automation by enabling you to schedule when tasks need to be executed. That way you can line up tasks in advance and do other things while letting PowerShell do it for you. So these are just a few ways uh, that PowerShell is way more powerful than a command prompt. So the question is why Microsoft brought PowerShell to take command prompt to the next level? What is the purpose of Windows Terminal? So let's open the terminal first. You can open the terminal by right clicking on the start menu. From here you will get the terminal. Just click on that. In look wise it will be similar to the command prompt but Windows Terminal brought bash to the windows. That is the main difference. Microsoft introduced Windows Terminal in 2019 with Windows 10 and it is a terminal operator that support almost any command line shell. So before that you have to note that to run bash in Windows Terminal you will have to enable the Windows subsystem for Linux that is WSL you can download you can install it from the Windows um, store it just open the store then type in WSL this is what I'm talking about Windows subsystem for Linux preview you will get it from here you can install that now coming back to the terminal another big feature in Windows terminal is the move to a more modern tabbed interface that allows you to run multiple command lines utilities. For instance, you can have multiple instances of command prompt running or open CMD, PowerShell, Bash and Azure at once. For example, just click on the tab button and you can have multiple windows here. Furthermore, you can use emojis and special characters from other languages in Windows Terminal thanks to its Unicode and UTF support. Also, like Windows PowerShell, you can also customize the app's interface by giving it different color schemes, background images, or other configuration changes. So you can see that if you click on this drop-down window, you can open the command shell here. Again, you can have Azure Cloud Shell here, all running in the same window. 
Now if you go to the settings, as I said, the changes you can do, you can change the theme. You can change the color scheme. Windows Terminal is an open source project and the Windows command line community is actively developing it. This is a community that is passionate about the project and will continually support the app, improve its performance and add more features. You can catch up on its development and even contribute by heading to the Windows Terminal GitHub repository. So as a conclusion I would say that Windows Terminal is all you need now. And also Windows Terminal allow you to run Bash and other command line utilities including the PowerShell. It also support more characters as a fancy new text rendering engine and allow you to customize its appearance. While each of these tools is powerful in its own right, there is no need to open the PowerShell with Windows Terminal around. So this is all about Windows Terminal vs PowerShell. So thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe, like and share. Thank you.